gonna go over ankle dorsiflexion pales rails. So we'll go over a couple of variations on how you can set this up. So first one being I can kind of sit back on my op opposite foot. And the goal here being to keep this right heel down the whole time and not letting that heel come up. So I'm gonna go straight ahead into as much dorsiflexion as I can without the heel coming up. After I've hung out here for maybe a minute or so to let my body get used to this stretch, we're going to do the pails and rails kind of contractions. So, for pails, pretending this is my foot, we're going to think like gas pedaling our foot through the floor. So, think you're trying to put as much pressure on the floor or this imaginary scale and make the numbers go up as high as you can. So, gradually going from 20% max effort to 40 to 60 to 80 and then about max tension. So I'm pushing down and using the muscles on the back of my leg. After I finish 10 seconds of that, we're gonna reverse. So I'm thinking trying to pull my toes, the top of my foot up towards my shin, or if this is my foot, I'm trying to lift everything up. Now, as you can see from, I'm in my end range, I'm not actually lifting anything up, but the front of my leg is this kind of creating a bunch of tension using all these muscles. I'm trying to sink deeper into the stretch. After about 10 or 15 seconds, I'll just stop, relax, and then repeat the process again, doing maybe two or three sets each side. If this position is uncomfortable, let's just say I've got a wall out in front of here, I can kind of get into a half kneeling position and use the wall as kind of like a balance to make sure I don't fall over and get in this position and do the exact same thing, pushing down and trying to lift up. So either variation works. Just think about 10 or 15 seconds on the pails and the rails for each. And that's your ankle dorsiflexion flexion, heel